What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. I am going to talk to you today about diet breaks. Diet breaks are essentially a controlled way to go off of your diet. So today in the video, we're gonna talk about what they are, how they're beneficial physiologically, how they're beneficial psychologically, and then my experience going through them. Let's get started. Guys, so today is day one of this diet break, and that means that it's the last day of day five days of low carbs. I spent the entire week after the cheat meal low carb just so I can like prepare for the diet break. And the diet break is starting today, and it's lasting between seven and ten days. I feel like I'm gonna hit a low weigh in this morning, and I'm gonna talk to you guys a bit more throughout the video about what I'm doing. I think I feel like this is my best so far, quote unquote, best so far, or like most lean so far I feel so let's check check out the scale and see if it matches up pretty close so that's like close to my lowest way and I think I was 134.6 one time so so if you've never heard of a diet break before, you might be wondering why would you just take a complete break from your diet? Doesn't that kill the whole point of it? A diet break isn't actually a complete break from your diet. It's essentially just a period of seven to 14 days. So it's like a, between a week and two weeks or so where your calories are at maintenance or where they're at your new maintenance actually because your previous maintenance might not be your current maintenance. We talked about this in a couple of videos, the carb cycling video and the cheat meal video, but essentially when you're dieting, your metabolism starts around here and then it like trends down a little bit as you continue dieting. Essentially, you're gonna bring your calories from the dieting calories to back to like your estimated maintenance calories. So I would just do 10% less of what you previously thought your maintenance was depending on how long you've been in a dieting phase four. And then again, seven to 10 days, no cardio, just eat, <laughs> just eat a little bit more. But it's it's not a break from your diet. You're not just like going off and eating whatever. It's a controlled break. So you're still controlling the amount of food you're taking in, but it's still like disrupting your efforts to diet and to like control your weight and to lose weight. And two, there's this thing that like, dieting is meant to be being as miserable as possible for as long as possible and that's really not what it is especially when you realize how effective diet breaks can be in the middle of a diet phase it's not all about just being as miserable as long as possible you can still be eating normal amounts in the middle of your diet and actually have it be more effective so let's get into the reasons why morning everybody it's super early 7 a.m three days after my Diet break has started, what are, what is, what is this? Started on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today's Tuesday, is today Tuesday? Yes. <laughs> Today's Tuesday and it's three days after my diet break. I'm gonna show you guys what I look like and what I weigh just to see like how I look three days after like higher calories. Scale said 136.4 this morning. That's been pretty normal. It's like a pretty average weight since, I don't know, like I pay attention to the, like the trend of all of them. So it's not too high, that's not too low. That's pretty normal as to where I've been lately. I don't really feel very different at this point in the diet break. And honestly, you're not really supposed to. In the past, I've experienced staying pretty much the same for almost the entirety of the diet break. Um, maybe like a little slight fluctuate up, but staying pretty close to the same the whole entire time. So like I said before, when you start dieting, your metabolism starts to trend down, 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 down. Because your body wants to not burn the fat because it wants to store all the fat. What it does is changes your hormone levels in order to slow down fat loss and then your metabolism slows down with it. The whole point of the diet break is for this hormone recovery to happen. So you want your hormones to get back to the normal levels so your body is able to continue to burn fat once you get back into your dieting phase. Not only is it about increasing the calories back up to maintenance, but it's also about increasing your carbohydrate intake because leptin and T3 are two hormones that are carb sensitive. 
so you want to increase those carbs a little bit more just making sure that you're eating enough of them so when your hormones get back to that normal homeostasis that they were at before you started dieting once you hop back into the dieting phase they're gonna start working in your favor hence what happens at the end of this video with my own progress so physiological response to a diet break is increased calories and then if your hormones get recovered also you get increased energy from the more calories that you eat so your training intensity is gonna be higher as well all right it is officially last day of well yesterday was officially the last day of diet break lasted for seven days and we only stopped because I had this weekend <laughs> with the mastermind and I just ate what was given to me and I, I could have tracked it but I was just like eh, let me just eat I'm on a diet break so we my coach and I, I just consulted him and I was like, hey, I think it's probably like good enough now. I could just kind of feel like my muscles getting really full and like my energy coming back. All of the good things happened and then I think I'm ready to just get back into it. We're like determining what um, length of time to extend it and I feel like it's ready to be done with my like the way that I feel in my body. That's usually how I'm kind of like tracking how I feel, look, like my progress, like it's kind of just how I feel in my body as opposed to like numbers on the scale or like how I look, like I'm gonna show you guys that stuff too because visual, <laughs> because YouTube, but that's usually what I've been going by this cut, so. Scale, I'm probably like 138, honestly. Well, that's weird. I'm not sure why that happened, but <laughs> yesterday I was like 137, so regardless, diet break is over. And the psychological reason to take a diet break. Honestly, these are probably more important than the physical reasons only because you know dieting is it's outright like scary for a lot of people I feel like the word Diet means that like diet equals miserable dieting for a long period of time is like absolutely terrifying So it requires discipline it requires sacrifice It requires you to be consistent for like a long period of time And if you've never done that before or you're not sure what that's like it can just be like some magical unicorn thing you think you'll never actually complete but if you change your way of thinking and your perception on it instead of like I need to diet 365 days a year, seven days a week, whatever. Just change your perception and say, you know what, I can diet for this many weeks and then plan a diet break for your <laughs> psychological reasons. It makes it that much easier. Similarly, we do that with our workouts. So we plan um, days off. We plan like cardio slash mobility only days. Like we don't train seven days a week and go hard seven days a week. We have like some heavy days, some light days. If you're powerlifting, you'll take like a deload week sometimes. So why can't we plan to do that with our nutrition as well? How come we can't do that same refeed day or have like an untracked meal day or have a diet break day? It makes the whole process a lot less scary and it actually makes it easier to stick to something when you know you get little breaks every so often. For some people going hard every single day and having that discipline every single day it's fine, but for the majority of people trying to make a change in their health and fitness and their body composition, it's just not realistic and not practical to literally just say, I'm going to go hard every day and never fuck up, never screw up, excuse my language. Yeah, seriously, the psychological aspect of dieting, having a planned diet break or just saying like, there's probably going to be a diet break implemented at some point during this cut makes it that much easier to stick to. That being said, you'll actually see better results if you are sticking to something more easily. So if you're planning a crash diet for four weeks, you're going to see more results likely doing like a 12 week cut with like little plan breaks in between. It's going to be more long term and more sustainable for you and you're actually going to see those results and you'll see them stay for a long time. And there you have it guys, this is the best that I have looked and felt so far. I hit a low weigh-in of a, an entire pound, and otherwise I would have had to like lower calories and increase cardio, but we just stopped cardio and increased calories, and that's how 
this magic happens. So if you guys are struggling again with fat loss plateaus, this might be something to consider implementing into your current cut. My diet break overall experience, it honestly helped me feel like I haven't even been dieting for that long. I got back to maintenance calories. I just ate as I felt. I even had a few days where I wasn't like tracking all my calories because I had my mastermind weekend and I just ate the food that was in front of me. I probably stayed right within the calories, but it just helped like refresh me mentally and physically. I felt far less hunger. Like my hunger went away after like a few days and I was like even forgetting to eat a little bit because I was like, oh, I don't feel hungry anymore. My training got better. I felt like a little bit more rejuvenated and excited to train. And I just got that excitement to like come back and push a little bit harder. And I even hit a new low weigh in two days after the diet break ended and I got back onto diet macros. One thirty four point two magic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this diet break video. I had a really good experience doing a diet break as I have in the past doing a couple diet breaks within my contest prep. I would highly encourage you to consider implementing this into your own routine. Shout out to my coach, William Grazion for showing you what diet breaks are, implementing them with me, working through them with me. And shout out to Lyle McDonald. I took a lot of his information that when, we, when I was learning this and when William was learning this, diet break information. He has a really great article. If you want to read a little bit more about diet breaks, more than this video, the link is in the description box. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.